Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a simple leak test on your mini split system. Now this is something that any homeowner can easily do. It's going to use a soapy water solution. Now since you're going to be opening up the mini split to do the leak test, you might want to remove power before taking the panels off so you can disconnect power either inside the house at the circuit breaker panel or at the outdoor disconnect box for your mini split. Next, I'm going to open up both this outdoor unit as well as the indoor unit. I'm not going to go into fine detail of exactly where the screw locations are and all that, but if you need it, I have some more videos on my channel. Go check out the playlist for the mini split. You will also need access to those flared connections for your line set where it connects to the condenser. So I'll remove this cover as well. This is one of the most common areas for a leak. It's right at these line set connections. Next, you might notice your compressor is wrapped up with a lot of insulation. You have to carefully take all that out. You'll notice mine is all gone because I had to deal with a mouse nest over the winter. So now you have access to spray your soapy water solution over all these copper pipes and hopefully you'll see some bubbling. And I like to do this test both without the compressor running and then again with the compressor running. So when you mix up your soapy water spray, you want to make sure that when you spray it, it's going to stay where it is so you'll be able to see some expanding bubbles and not just all run completely down. So I'm going to turn power back on. I'm going to turn this on. You might see the fan start up initially. Then you'll see the compressor kick in. Once that compressor starts, you're going to start spraying all the copper pipes in here, all around the coil, and the inside unit as well. Now before I start the leak test, I'm going to do a visual inspection because this compressor has oil in it. When you have a refrigerant leak, you'll often have a little bit of oil leaking from the location as well. I've already taken a look around. I did not see anything, so I'm gonna continue with the leak test along with the soapy water spray. If you have the leak detector as well, that you just point locations all around, all these copper pipes and the coil. Preferably do that first before the soapy water. You may also want to listen really carefully. There may be a hissing sound. And although most refrigerants are odorless, if you have some leaking compressor oil at the same time, you may smell that. Now, if you're doing a leak test and you need the compressor running, with that front cover removed, you won't be able to turn the unit on. Although right here, there's a button you can press. That's the force cooling button. Now will allow the unit to run in cooling mode for about a half an hour. Now, if you really need to use the front cover and the remote or the thermostat, change from cooling to heating, for example, you can just prop this up, connect the wire here, and then you can turn on this front panel in order to do that. Now first try in mine, I couldn't actually do the leak test because I got an error code on the indoor unit. If that happens, you're gonna cycle power. Sometimes you have to wait 15 minutes or more to make sure that code clears. Turn power back on and try again. Now when the compressor is running, you can tell because there's a vibration here. It's not a vibration caused by the fan. So definitely start spraying at your line set connections. Very common area for leaks. You're looking for any expanding bubbles. Spray all your connections inside. That noise, that hum from the compressor just stopped. So at least on mine, the amount of time that the compressor ran, I got a good five minutes. A soapy water spray, which I just used the dish liquid for, didn't quite get bubbly enough for me to see everywhere. So I got a different solution, which I just got some typical bubble bath type bubbles. These will really stick just about anywhere and stay there. So compressor's running now. Gonna add these bubbles everywhere. These and this will work really well 
We're getting all in those coils in between the fins. Right up here, I'm definitely seeing something going on here, right up in this corner. I think I found the leak on the outdoor unit. Still, I'm going to be thorough. Do the same leak test on the indoor unit. So when you're doing your leak test, you want to check everywhere where this copper pipe runs. So if you're using your soapy water, checking for bubbles, you want to spray all along the sides and throughout the middle here. Also, you don't need to worry about water dripping. It's all going to get collected and run down your condensate drain tube that goes outside. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.